rocks are my hobby and it's my work at the same time. That's why it's so easy to come to work. The project is about carbonatites. And carbonatites are such mag uh, magmas that are uniquely enriched in very, very rare elements called rare earth elements. It's like um, one part per million. So it can be uh, one gram per ton or even less, much less. And these are the metals of the future. For example, uh, in the uh, new generation, um, electric cars, the engine will be replaced with a huge magnet, like 35 kilograms of, of the metal, but not a common iron or nickel. That would be uh, a magnet made of rare earth elements, neodymium and gadolinium. And these are very, very hard to get. And the only source of these metals are the rocks that I'm going to study. I study melt inclusions. Though other people, they study rocks, but rocks erupted, let's say, uh, 200 million years ago, they already changed their composition. The magmas that I study, they originate together with kimberlites in the same place, in the mantle. So they originate together. And interestingly enough, kimberlites, they carry diamonds to the surface, whereas carbonatites do not. They have exactly the same composition, they have exactly the same origin, but one type of rock associates with diamonds, the other doesn't. I want to understand why. What, why is that important to understand that? Well, because they're diamonds. People, people like diamonds. Some people even love diamonds. They pay a lot of money for diamonds. <laughs> we developed here uh, a brand new uh, methodological approach to the problem. These rocks form from uh, a liquid, and we call this uh, liquid a magma. And the temperature can be as high as uh, 1300 degrees. And this is the temperature very deep in, in the earth. But once the magma comes uh, into the crust, to the surface, it cools down. And with cooling, different minerals crystallize. And how it's how uh, a rock forms. When we place material into this heating stage, and then uh, watch what happens during heating uh, under microscope. We can see all the phase transformations. So basically with this we model what happens very deep in the, in the earth. It excites everyone. Because if, if I'll show you how the heating stage works and you will see that the platinum heater goes to 1600 degrees, you'll be very excited. 1600 degrees one centimeter from your finger could you believe it i can show you using just one rock or one deposit for, for the study wouldn't be enough so at the moment i have collections from antarctica greenland canada central and south africa europe and siberia Basically, I think that this university is the best place uh, for researchers on this planet. I've been to different places and I'm confident that the University of Tasmania provides the best research environment and endless research opportunities.